How many secondary schools navigate virtual learning, St. Louis colleges are trying to make sure in-person classes remain safe. There have been dozens of cases confirmed just at Lindenwood University. And News 4's Russell Kinsall details what the school is doing to try to stop the spread of the virus. The fall semester has been underway for about a month here on the Lindenwood University campus. Some things are fairly normal, some things are not. The football team is not allowed to play any football games, but the students are still getting a lot of homework. And one assignment that all students are getting is doing their part to make sure they don't get the virus or spread it to anyone else. Signs are everywhere reminding students and staff to wear a mask, but sometimes students forget. One time I was taking trash out of my dorm and then I was like, oh crap, I forgot my mask. And then he was like, hey, just remember it the next time. Like, that was about it. We checked the numbers provided by universities across the area and found Lindenwood University had the most students and staff test positive in the last 14 days with 52, followed by Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville with 39, and St. Louis University has had nine cases in the last 10 days. So we did see an increase in cases after Labor Day, and we've been really proactive in trying to make sure that we are taking as, as good of care of our students as we possibly can. Classrooms are set up for social distancing, and hand sanitizer is readily available. The university has also enlisted the help of 40 volunteers, students called health ambassadors, who remind their fellow students about the safety guidelines. They're assigned to different locations on campus to remind people of our safety policies and protocols, provide a mask if somebody forgets a mask one day. And there could be serious consequences too if students are caught in groups of 10 or more and with alcohol. They are no longer allowed to live on campus. Keeping the number of positive cases down allows students to continue having some in-person classes and some sports that are allowed to compete. Kevin Urban's on the cycling team. And unfortunately, we've been able to race. Um, practices have definitely been uh, different for sure. Lindenwood University says it's working very hard to give students a high quality education and as much of a meaningful college experience as they can safely. But they say it takes everyone doing their part to follow the safety guidelines to make sure it all works. In St. Charles, Russell Kinsell, News 4.